What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we are going over some muffler covers for chainsaws. We are going to do a head-to-head -head matchup here and just figure out whose is the best. If you're interested in the results, well, stay tuned. All right guys, so let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So I have always been a fan of the BarkBox. Um, if you have been around the channel for any length of time, you know I'm a West Coast saw fanboy. Um, I really like Gordy and I think he's a great saw builder and he's got some great products. Now, uh, new on the field is the Egan Performance Straight Shot Muffler. Jason's also a good dude, um, a very reputable saw builder. Two different theories at play here. So, uh, you know, the bark box has 0.825 square inches of exhaust port measured here on the end. And Jason's has something like 1.7 uh, square inches of exhaust port. So I think it's 1.77. So uh, nearly double or over double of the exhaust port as the West Coast Bark Box. So the Egan muffler is, is called the straight shot because it does have the port straight out of the exhaust port. Um, two different theories here at play. Uh, Jason builds his with 10 gauge stainless. Gordy builds his with 16 gauge uh, stainless. Both great designs, good welds on both. Um, they just go at the uh, at the theory a little bit different. So today what we are going to do is a timed cut through a 16, 17 inch log. Uh, we are running a 20 inch bar on the 661. Um, I'm running a max airflow kit, no dogs on it. We are going to basically uh, zip tie a 15 pound block to the bottom of the saw. So it's a weighted test. I, I will have as little human input as possible. So. I'm gonna roll it in here. I'm gonna show you guys um, just stock, and then um, and then we're gonna go do the Egan straight shot, and then we are gonna do the bark box. So uh, I'm gonna let you guys watch the cuts. I do a series of three cuts per uh, you know per muffler cover, and then on my sheet I'm going to do an average of times. So I'm gonna time each cut three different times because there is human error there, so I wanna average it for the best time. And then we're gonna see the results, and then I'll be back on camera to show you guys um, just exactly how I feel about these.
guys, so the results are in. First, I wanna preface this by saying that you know, I tried to take as much human interaction out of this as possible on the saw because, you know, whatever cover you like more, you're going to put more, you know, force on it. You want that one to win. In your heart of hearts, you want that one to win. So you are going to manipulate it a little bit without even really thinking about it. So I took all of that out. I wanted to run it honest and straight dead true. You know, I'm a West Coast Saul guy, but the results are in and it, it got beat. So before we talk about that, I wanna talk about the cuts that I did in real world application. So obviously you're not gonna be out there with a 15 pound weight cutting firewood, letting it run down through and doing timed cuts. So I wanted to get a real world test and dog it through a big, nice, uh, still wet, uh, you know, tree that I cut down in the woods. So I'm gonna roll in the footage right here and let's talk about this for a second. So the, the data that I got from this specific test was when I basically dogged over and did a pivot method. And this was with medium pressure and running the saw, you know, uh, just as I normally would for the uh, firewood. So I was running a 28 inch bar, a seven pin sprocket, and the stock cover beat both of these, uh, both the straight shot and the bark box. So I'll roll in a picture of the timed sheet that I did here. Um, and I'll even roll in the stock footage versus the straight shot, maybe even the stock footage uh, versus the bark box. But this, the stock cover did 21 seconds and the straight shot did 22.26 and the bark box did 25.32. So, you know, it's kind of crazy that it was a lot slower than the stock cover. And now I don't know exactly why that is. Um, the saw really did feel stronger, but it was slower in the cut. Now, first thing that people are gonna say is that my method or my uh, technique was absolutely, it was different from each one, but I disagree. If these covers are supposed to be 10 to 15% faster in the cut, there's no way that my difference in the technique is going to edge, basically take that lead away and then go the opposite way with it where the stock cover beats it. So if you're somebody that's doing production falling and you're cutting all day, I'm gonna tell you right now that both of these covers are too loud. Um, they are wicked loud and even with hearing protection on, my ears still ring after running them. So if, unless you wanna do double hearing protection, if you're running the saw all day, these are not good options. I mean, they're just wicked loud. The Egan straight shot is ridiculously loud. I couldn't even measure it on a decibel meter. It was crazy loud. So, um, you know, th when it comes to production falling and running the saw all day, these options are just too loud in my opinion. So when, let's get down to the actual weighted cuts. So the weighted cuts, the stock cover did 9.58 in the cut. Now the Egan straight shot did a 7.87 average cut and the bark box did 8.74. Now what this means is that the bark box is 8.8% faster than the stock cover. So almost that six to 10% gain, you know, right, in the, right on the money there. Um, it's 0.84 seconds faster than the stock cover in that piece of wood. Now the Egan straight shot, did an astounding 1.71 seconds faster than stock, making it 17.8% faster in the cut. So it's definitely uh, really good. Uh, it definitely outperforms the stock cover and the Egan straight shot outperforms the West Coast saw bark box. Um, you know, those numbers are pretty darn good. You're hitting almost 20% faster in the cut. Now, if you are doing a weighted cut or, uh, you know, doing that, Consistently, yes, you're picking up that 17.8%, but that's not realistic real world cutting. And in the realistic real world cutting that I was doing and you saw it on camera, the stock cover prevailed. So are these worth the money? The, the, uh, the Egan straight shot muffler being 60 bucks and the bark box being 80, um, are they worth the money? 
they're kind of like putting uh, they're kind of like putting rims on your car. They're a second kind of cool. Are they all that much more productive? I don't see it there. Um, if you were to cut 20% faster in each cut, that means that you take off four seconds on each 20 second cut. And so therefore, you know, if you did a hundred cuts a day, you save 400 seconds in your cutting if you're running the straight shot. So 400 seconds, I'm not a mathematician here, but you know, you're saving a couple minutes. You're saving almost 10 minutes over the day. So is it make, gonna make you more productive? Yes, a little bit it is. Uh, it's going to make you faster in the cut. Um, is it going to help for racing? Absolutely. If you're racing saws and it's all about the absolute, you know, down to the, you know, the tenth of a second and you're trying to edge out the competition, these are definitely something that you want to invest in. But if you're cutting firewood and you're trying to uh, keep from blowing your ears out, I mean, these things are going to be cumbersome when it comes to hearing protection and just overall the taxing it takes to run the saw. So those are my opinions. Um, obviously the, the Egan straight shot muffler did awesome. Uh, you can't argue with almost 20 seconds faster in the cut. The bark box didn't do too bad at almost 10% faster in the cut. Um, it is what it is. They're a second kind of cool item. They're not necessarily uh, something that's required to run. Uh, if you want to cut firewood with it, you want to race with your friends, absolutely go and get them. But if you're looking for straight up performance and whoever uh, makes the best performance, it's the Egan straight shot muffler. It definitely beats the competition. And if you're looking for that, this is the cover that you want to go with. So um, absolutely, if you're looking into buying either one, go for it. Uh, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. I'm sure people are gonna argue about my opinions and just how I went after it and all this stuff. I'm gonna hear it from the keyboard warriors. Go out and do a test yourself, record it, put it on YouTube so I can nitpick you. So I hope you guys like the content. Click that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and we'll see you guys in the next video.